Welcome again, photographers. As part of this session, Mrs. Steele is going to demonstrate how to load your film into the canister ready for developing. Okay, so the things you need for this task is your film, which you have had the end picked out of. I'm using the film picker. Uh, you need to have a tank, a funnel, a spindle, and a spiral, and a pair of scissors. Um, the first thing which I've already done actually though, <laughs> sorry, is the first thing you need to do is cut off that um, funny shaped tab off the end. Um, and that's because if you don't do that, you're not going to um, have your film going around your canister very smoothly. And this, these parts here can get caught and make it um, malfunction. So you're cutting that part off first so it's nice and straight. You can curve the edges if you want to, but just try not to make sure that it's um, you've got really rough edges because this, these can get um, these can get stuck. So you have your film. You can pull out about that much of your film um, in the light. If you pull out the whole thing, though, however, that will all become exposed to light. Now the reason you pull out this much is because when you were loading it into your camera before. Um, you did actually have quite a lot of film out so this part has already been exposed to light anyway so you're not going to be losing any of your photos just don't pull it out too much now these steps are all done in the light but soon I'll tell you when uh, you need to go into the dark room into complete darkness so we're going to take this um, this spiral here and we're going to load the film onto it just so that it's ready for when you go into the dark room and turn off the lights now inside here there are um, two ball bearings on each side and those sit um, in the sockets of your film and they help move it around the spiral. Okay, so as you're moving, as you're turning this to load your film on, what's happening is these little balls are moving in between these little holes here to pull it all the way around the spiral. So you need to find the opening of the tracks. So in most of these there is a little triangle sort of shaped part that protrudes um, towards the inside of the, spin, uh, of the spiral and you're going to put your film into those parts there and it's usually right next to the ball bearings and you want to make sure that your film has gone past the ball bearings because if it doesn't it's not actually going to advance at all so once you've got it there you can see that a little bit more clearly that there's those um, those two parts that are sticking out and you need to also go into the dark now so and when you're in the dark or in the dark room before you turn off the lights you want to have this in front of you and you have your tank i usually put this inside the tank just so i don't knock it off the table and lose it i'll have this so i know where it is right in front of me and my pair of scissors ready in front of me as well so everything is in reaching distance it's not all over the table because it's really easy to misplace things and you can't find things when it's pitch black. So, turning off the lights now. I am going to make sure that my thumbs, whenever I'm advancing, well, whenever I pick this up, my thumbs are going to be around those little sticky out bits. And that's just so that you you can feel if the film has come out of the tracks at all. Because if it does come out, you are going to have to, in the dark, pull this all out and try and um, insert it again with complete darkness. Okay, so what you need to do is you're going to pull with the lights off now, pull this down a bit, and you're going to be cranking this backwards and forwards. So you'll be able to see that the triangles, you won't see this in the dark obviously, but the triangles are moving away from each other. So it's moving the film around the spiral. I'm going to pull it out a bit more, keep clicking. And all I'm doing is moving my hands backwards and forwards. To make it go around the spiral. And keep pulling. The film is a lot longer than you probably think as well. And there I cannot pull it out any further. So pull it up a little bit more. Now this is the tricky bit because it is dark and you can't actually see where things are. You have to pick up your scissors and cut this part here. So you're going to be cutting the canister off in the dark. 
the last step, just winding it a few more times to make sure that that last piece of film has gone past those, the ball bearings in the opening. Because if it doesn't, if it sits around here, it's not going to develop evenly because all of these gaps here are going to ensure that your chemicals will flow nice and freely through, uh, through the film. Make sure it's all developed properly. So, it's past the ball bearings. Next step is you're going to get your spindle. Put it inside and then you're going to place it into the tank. Now you don't want to place it in this way, so up that way, because it's going to sit at the bottom of, uh, sorry, sit at the top of your tank and it won't get covered in chemicals when you get up to the chemical stage. You want it to be sitting at the bottom so that it does have chemicals covering it. So it goes into the bottom there. This part, the funnel, will go on top as well, still with all the lights off. So you don't want any light touching that film and you want to turn it until it has a click okay so it'll feel nice and firm once you uh, when you turn it um, it's always good as well to check while the lights still off that the lid is not going to come off because if it does come off uh, when you're trying when you're doing your developing with your chemicals you will expose your whole film to light so it's good to check it in the dark make sure it's not going to come off put your hand in front of it because if you didn't have it on properly, it would all fall out. So making sure it clicks. Once it has clicked, it's light tight. No light can get into there, even through this hole, which is where you pour the chemicals in later. Um, because that spindle is actually blocking the light from um, bouncing around inside the canister. So once you've done that, then you can take it back out into the classroom and develop your film using the chemicals.